welcome back to Marissa Explains It All. And today I'm going to be showing you what I got at the Sephora VIB 20% off sale. And uh, there's a sale coming up this weekend for VIBs and I just took part in the VIB Rouge sale. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got in case your sale is this weekend and there's some things that you're interested in getting. So I always take advantage of this sale and get the things that I absolutely need. So I'm gonna start off by showing you some of those things. So maybe they're not as exciting, but they're things that I absolutely love that I continue to use. I, I feel safe to say most of them are probably like holy grail products that I constantly use. So let's start off with my face stuff. I went ahead and got the Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil and it looks like this in the package. And I use this almost every single day. It's amazing because it takes off all of your makeup. This is what it looks like. You just pump it into your hands and then I do two pumps and then I separate it and I put it on my eye to rinse it. And then I follow up by washing with the Bosha Black Detoxifying Black Cleanser. And it looks like that in the box. And this is what the bottle actually looks like. And this stuff is a warming cleanser. So when you put it in your hands and then you put it on your face, it warms up and it feels really good. And I just really like both these products. These are two things that I will continue to purchase and I love that I was able to get them on sale. And the next thing that is a holy grail, I have a holy grail video and I mentioned this, but I have about uh, three quarters of a bottle left in my current one that I'm using, but I wanted to get a backup because it's on sale. And this is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. So it looks like this. And I've been using this stuff forever. I wanna say like 20 years or something, like a long ass time. And that's what it looks like. And I really like it because it has no scent. Um, it is yellow, but it does, it's not like full of dyes or perfume and I really like lotions that I can apply and then put on my eyes as well so I've had I've used some face lotions where I put them on my face and then I go to rub them over my eye area and it, they burn and they sting and what's the point I want to be able to use something that I can just slather on and rub down my neck and go to bed after I'm done washing my face at night so this lotion has been a holy grail I love it it causes no irritation. I find it to be very moisturizing, so but not greasy. Um, it has no smell or dyes or perfumes, like I said. So I've also used some lotions where you put them on and then you can't sleep or they kind of irritate you because you're like, holy crap, I smell like gardenias or whatever. But um, this lotion doesn't have any of that. So it's just a great lotion. I love it and I will continue to buy it. And so I bought it this time around. And then one of the other things that I've most more recently discovered than the Clinique lotion is this La Vanilla Healthy Deodorant and I was able to get the full size. I had mentioned in a previous video that I was never able to get the full size when I went into the physical Sephora store. I placed this order online so I was able to get this the full size um, La Vanilla deodorant and it's natural and I think I've mentioned that it doesn't really smell that good. It's it's you think ooh la vanilla and I got the pure vanilla scent and you think it's going to smell like vanilla but it doesn't. It basically it kind of smells like mothballs. Like it doesn't really smell that great, but it's natural so and I bought not one, but two of them because again, they were on sale. <laughs> so, those are the things that I needed. Two other things that I think these are the last two things that I needed here and that is a shampoo and conditioner. These were $14 each but they were 20% off so um, then they come out to about the same price as the organic shampoo and conditioner that I typically use anyway and they had really good reviews and obviously I have color treated hair and red hair is really hard to keep up so I like to use a color safe sulfate free shampoo that doesn't make my hair uh, bl bleed or the color fade really really quickly. So I got the Verb Mild Color Safe Cleanse Hydrating Shampoo and then the Matching Conditioner. And again, I got these because they were relatively affordable for I guess higher end, like not drugstore um, shampoo and conditioner. And they had really high ratings. So let's see what they smell like. Just a clean scent, nothing um, overpowering, not like flowery or anything, just like a clean scent, so that's good. So, I'm excited about those. Hopefully they'll live up to the ratings that I saw online. And so that is, those are all the things that I needed. Now as you know, uh, we also take advantage and get things that we don't need during the sale. So one of the things was this lipstick that I'm wearing right now, and it is in the shade Cure Royale, and it's a Bite Beauty 
brand lipstick and so that's what it looks like and a tube I already used it obviously it looks like that so it's in the shade Cure Royale and I saw other people had the shade I really liked it obviously it's a nice berry shade really pretty but by beauty lipsticks are really nice um, they're creamy and they're food grade, so that's why it's called Bite Beauty. So if there was a zombie apocalypse, I think I'd come up in here and uh, eat up all my Bite Beauty lipsticks. <laughs> but um, they just are good, nice, saturated colors, and they feel good on the lips. And they're just a traditional lipstick, but this is in the shade Cure Royale. And then sticking with lip products, I have a couple other things here. I got the Gem and the Holograms Truly Outrageous Liquid Lip Set. And this is a limited edition lip set. Um, you know, Gem is a cartoon from the 1980s from my childhood, so I went ahead and swatched these on the back of my hand here to show you. So here are the shades, and there's also a lip gloss in it, but I don't know if you can really see. It's just like a, let's see, let me open this up here. <clears throat> so here's the lip gloss. It's just a very light pink with glitters in it. And then there are all of the shades, and they are swatched on the back of my hand there. And let's see, I haven't, you could see the pink one kind of smeared, but let's see, yeah, they don't, they're liquid lipsticks, but it looks like they kind of smear, so see, I just was able to just smear them. So they don't really dry down completely. Um, I did try one on my lips just to see what they felt like, and there's a doe foot applicator, and when you put them on, they feel, they do dry down more so than like a traditional lipstick, but they don't dry down as much as other, like, matte, long-wearing lipsticks. They're still liquid lipsticks, but they're just not as matte and drying. So that's promising because those can be really drying and hurt your lips sometimes. So it's a limited edition set and I just thought it was really cute and had some cool colors in it that I might like. So I went ahead and got that. And then the other lip thing that I got is the Kat Von D Lolita Lip Duo. And in all honesty, the reason I got this was because I'm really confused about the whole Lolita, the Kat Von D Lolita. So there was like a Lolita liquid lipstick and then she re-released it because it was always sold out. She re-released it and I guess the second batch or whatever wasn't the same as the first batch and people were complaining and then she renamed the one uh, Lolita 1 and then there was the Lolita 2 and I just got really kind of confused in, in that hubbub I guess and so I, these are minis. They're just little liquid lipsticks. So. Here is the Lolita 1, and then here is the Lolita 2. So you can see how this one is more like peachy tone. So I'll go ahead and swatch them for you. So here they are swatched next to each other. So there's the Lolita 1 and the Lolita 2. I believe that she's going to be releasing the Lolita 2 and Lolita 1 like full size separate so that um, you know you can get whichever shade you prefer but I just got this little set so that I had both of them because I was just confused and I want to make sure I had the one that I wanted so <clears throat> I got that. Okay so these next things I got are things that I didn't need but that I wanted and there's no better time than during the sale right? So the first thing is the Makeup Forever Artist Palette and this is what the box looks like and this is what the actual palette looks like and I have other Makeup Forever artist shadows and they do live up to the hype I know that people are always like raving about them but they really are nice nice eyeshadows and they're pretty expensive so all of the ones that I have I've gotten during the sale last year I believe is when I got most of them and I have the other artist palette um, that came out last year so this is what it looks like so just nice, you know, they're set up in threes. Typically the palettes are set up so that you can kind of look at them and get a look. So, you know, down there's a neutral and then more of a like goldy coppery and then a purple, a blue, and then more of kind of a smoky look there. And I don't think there are any mattes. Let's see. There are no mattes in the palette, so you would have to pull in another palette if that's what you want. But let me just go ahead and swatch some here. So there are just a few swatches and I'll go ahead and I mean, just look at how nice they are. Some shades there from the palette. So, so I do plan on doing a full review, look, demo, um, you know, showing you more about this palette. 
but I did get some other palettes and the reason I got them now is I've been wanting to try these forever. I mean, not just like they've become really popular lately, but I've been wanting to try them for quite some time, but I just couldn't bring myself to buying them. And with the 20% off, they then become more affordable. They then are the same price as um, like a Urban Decay palette or something. But they are the Visart palettes, the professional makeup palettes. And I got two of them. I got the Dark Mattes palette. There's the box. I'll open it up and show you. And that's what that looks like. Actually, this is the one I wanted the most because it just, look at the shades. They're all jewel tones, which I've mentioned are my faves. I love jewel tones. So let me go ahead and swatch a few for you. And if you're familiar with makeup, you know mattes are really hard to make them this pigmented. I mean, this is just from a quick little swatch here. So let me go ahead and swatch them out here on my arm. So I'm excited to use this. They're all matte shadows. It's the dark mattes again. Really beautiful shades. The only thing is there's not transition, like really maybe this one can be used as a transition or a highlight shade. So you might... Um, need to pull in some other palettes to make a create a whole look and then the other one that I got is uh, the sultry muse palette and this one is all shimmer shades and so here it is nice neutral kind of shimmery shades let me go ahead and so there are some shades from that sultry muse palette and let me swatch them for you on the back of my hand well wow, pretty nice i'm really excited to finally have these because i've wanted them forever and i took advantage of them actually being in stock and being able to get them during the sale now i now i'm worried that i'm going to want all of them and as i mentioned they're expensive so i'm gonna have to wait until another sale comes around or i get a coupon or something to be able to get the other ones that i want but that is everything that i got at the sephora vib sale and hopefully I was able to show you some things that you were interested in or things that you may now look at. And if you like my videos, go ahead and like and subscribe and you'll see more from me later. Okay, thanks. Bye.